guys, welcome to Bish Camp. Right, I'm all over the middle because I nearly fell in just. Right. We're at uh, good old Donington for a bit of margin fishing uh, in the afternoon. It's, uh, it's just coming up to half twelve. Already had a couple. Uh, I've had where are you? I've had one from this side down here. Let's move the let's move the landing net out of the way. And I'll throw a few maggots down. There. Macni maggots on that side. And it's corn on this side. I'll just show you. It's there. I've got the, that camera running at the minute just for the excitement and fact of the float in the water. Because I seem to be getting more action that side to my right hand side. So, fishing with corn. So, I've got a straightforward hook. Um, the way I hook corn is I pick a corner or an edge, put it through the top as best I can. And then a lot of the hooks showing. Um, that's when I put one piece on. So, as I say, I've just been setting the cameras up for a short while. So, let's get some corn in. Not much now. Um, I need my second because they're quite big fish, these. And although I've got a strong elastic on. So, usual tactics, um, I, I'm, there's too much gunk close in, uh, there's too many branches and an uneven surface, so that's my first flat, flat edge if you like, so it goes down from the edge and slides away, and that's my first flat surface to fish to. As I say, I've got worms, I've got maggots, and I've got corn and pellets. Tried pellets a little bit earlier on, absolutely nothing, not a touch. As soon as I put a as soon as I put a maggot and a worm on, had a, a couple of decent perch as well. Nothing nothing of the size of Alcott Farm but not tiddlers. Alright again for those of you who in the comments are always going, my god, how high is your float out of the water? It's all for filming purposes, guys, so you can see. Oh, there you go. How rubbish am I then, guys? You saw that. Right, let's have another go. There are some tench in this, this lake, there are some chub, there are some bream, um, but there's a lot of carp in here. Actually I'm a little bit further over than I like to be. This is where I want to be, here. This is where, that's it, that's the spot. I'm not going to feed again now until I catch a fish. Because I have been steadily feeding this. I might put a few micros in, but they're not going to fill them. And I'm putting the micros in loose as well, guys. So most of them get to the bottom so that the, the carp are mooching about in the bottom and come across the core. Fish with bish. Think like a fish with bish. I'm at a depth here that, um, really, that was a big fish. I'm at a depth here that, really, they don't tend to slide away the bites. The bites tend to go, like the sound effects there, and go straight under. If they do slide away, it tends to be a, a tench or a, or a brain. Right, we're in. It's 
It's not very big this. No, it's not very big at all. It's a fish though guys, it's a fish. Oh, the fowl looked him as Harley. We've got him in the in the fin there. No it's uh, just wrapped around his fin. Let's have a look, see what we got here. Oh, beautiful little carp. Beauty. Look at him. Beautiful fish. Please subscribe. Hit the bell. You know you want to. Fish with fish. Still pretty fish though. Ooh, how about that? One up to himself. Fair play to you guys. Let's have a look at him. As soon as we're not catching that mate. Nice fish again. Lovely scales on him. Let's get him back. And we there we are at last somewhat of a decent size as well oh it's a nice fish he's just suddenly realised he's hooked So we can get him under some kind of control. We're lucky to land this guy, so I've got to be honest. Let's take our time, eh? This might even be last fish of the day, so. The elastic's doing its job, keeping the elastic low even under water. It does two things, it calms the fish down because he's not being yanked to the surface and also what it does is it lubricates the elastic and as you can see the fish has actually swam towards me, he's moving away then. As I say, if you keep the under the water, I think he's done all his mad runs now. So we'll see if we can bring him in. I'm not pulling too hard. Just see if we can gently ease him back to us. Some weight there, guys. So now he's off again. Let's. Give me his, his chew, he's a big fish. That felt like he'd come off then. Let's see if we can at least see him before he comes off. Yeah, every time I lift the, every time I lift the, the elastic, he shoots off. So I'll try it again and show you. So I'm lifting, trying to get him at the sea. It's a big fish, that is. He knows what he's doing. If the hook holds, uh, I think he might be ass. There you go, he's gone again.
What I'm going to do, I think, is pull him under the water and shorten that elastic. I think we might have fouled up too much else. That's right? Yeah, I think we are. Let's get him in. I think he's had enough there. I can kite him in across the top. bank here as well which don't help matters. There we are in his eyes. We've got him. Can see him. Oh. Come here, fella. Oh. Long thin fish. I'm getting ready for spawning they are now. So he'll be trying to put some weight on, I should imagine. Show off to the ladies. So, I'm going to skin him back. And away. Oh. And away. No. And that was away. Alright, so we've got time for another one. Let's see if we can get another one. anything particularly big. No, no, it's a bright. First one of the day. And as usual, it's come up, give up for a brain. Same as the old cut brain. Not slimy at all. There he is. Whoop, whoop. Juggling the fish and he's gone. Oh, we've still got time. One more go, I think. It's not actually. It's a F1. Let's have a look at him. Mm, yes. I think that's why I've been getting them sort of like tentative boys. I've not been getting the the big fish in the edge. I think it's a bit early. So anyway. It's good boy from me. And it's good boy from him. Oh, 
Right guys, thanks for watching Fish with Bish. That was just a very quick one. I'll condense all that because there's a lot of uh, sitting and waiting around on this one. Um, but we were fishing the edges this afternoon. It was nice and warm and it was a pleasant, pleasant afternoon. Got the noise of a bur bubbling, burbling brook by the side of me. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, thanks for watching Fish with Bish. Don't forget, please subscribe, hit that bell. More content coming soon. Thank you very much.